guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if you are new here thank you so much for joining us today my name is Shanice Williams Rashid and this is a fairly new channel in which I do um vlogs I live in Hawaii and I decided you know why not film the experience so um, I am doing vlogs and I'm trying to get more into lifestyle videos so if you are interested in any of those things please do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button I have a ton of content coming at you guys fast and really soon if you're here today you obviously want to see what I got from Sephora I think I overdid it a little bit but um the stuff that I got was skincare products that I've been wanting for a while or that I wanted to try out. I will be doing an update video um, a little later. I have already started using a lot of these products and I can say I am starting to see a little difference. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I am. Um, it's not remarkable obviously because it's only been a couple of weeks. A couple weeks but I did want to share with you what I got just in case you know you are stalking Sephora and wondering what you want to get okay so for reference I do have dry to normal or normal to dry skin um, and I do get hyperpigmentation this year like the end of last year I wasn't really taking care of my skin as well as I should have so I do have the most dark spots I've ever had in my life. It's crazy. So I really want to get rid of them this um, by the end of this year, which is why I bought all of these products. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so this first product needs no introduction. I feel like it's taking social media by storm and has been for a little while. I really wanted to try it and it is the Caudalie if you can see that the caudaly vinyl perfect um serum it's a radiant serum i've heard so many people say such good things about this um i've heard it eradicated their dark dark spots women who were pregnant and got hyperpigmentation really bad while whilst they were pregnant um I've heard stories of people that had like marks for years and um, in their experience this really helped to just clear it up, up not just fade it considerably but clear it up so this was the first thing that I had to try I'm not gonna lie to you it is pricey and especially considering I thought it was gonna be bigger than this but I am very excited to, tr to keep trying this out and see where it takes if you've never seen it before oops it's this milky texture you want this to focus it's not gonna focus but it's a white milky texture doesn't smell bad either does it smell like coconut milk it does not smell like coconut milk so far i have no issues with it like i said i've only been using it for maybe two weeks or like a week and a half so I can't really give you guys an update on this yet but so far so good I have no complaints about this the next thing that I got um is from youth to the people love that brand my frenemy who I hate so much she introduced me to youth to the people years ago and from since then I was totally just I love some of their products I really really do but they are they're, they're a bit pricey I'm not gonna lie to you they are so this is the mandelic acid the mandelic acid and superfood unity exfoliant we just in this nice green pretty bottle what I like about you to the people is that their stuff doesn't smell like super fragranced fragrant fragranced um so there's not really a lot of just artificial fragrances going on here it's mostly just product and just natural kind of smells which i really do enjoy so if i buy something from a brand i don't like to look at the reviews on their website i like to look at for other reviews youtube videos um there were some mixed reviews about this but overall i felt that it was good yeah really excited to try this um i 
used it maybe three times and i do like that even though it has three percent aha and two percent bha and one percent pha which i don't know if i've ever heard of um i do like that it doesn't burn my skin when i use it i really do appreciate that so that's what i got okay since we're on new to the people i just had to bring this out um i got another mini um, superfood cleanser I am obsessed with youth with youth to the people's superfood cleanser like listen this thing has my skin so bomb I don't know why it's just insane whenever I run out and I use regular um, face wash because I do have a cedar a Cetaphil foaming face wash listen it doesn't do my face isn't glowy my face isn't giving it's not giving jesus loves me it's just giving you know it's just giving a little less than that yeah i had to get a travel size um i am traveling in less than a week no i am traveling in a week so i did want to take a mini with me um love 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 this 10 out of 10 recommend the last thing that I got from you to the people is this Super Berry Hydrate um, and Glow Dream Mask. I saw some good reviews on this. I decided to try it. Um, it has Maki, Vitamin C, Squalane and, Squalane and Hyaluronic Acid. So good for moisture guys. Good for moisture and that Vitamin C is good for the good for the skin it says to apply at night and I've only used it like three times but I the consistency is not what I thought it would be I'm not even gonna lie to you I thought it would be a lot smoother like whipped whipped butter ish that texture that smooth creamy texture but it's also like light and fluffy this isn't really as smooth I'm gonna show you guys I'm scooping my hand in the, my finger in there and not even a lot is coming out like it's a bit more firm than I thought it would be but um that's just that's my personal problem that has nothing to do with this product to be honest I do like it when I wake up in the mornings my skin is still hydrated love it um i do find that my skin looks a little more it has like a little more of a youthful glow when i use this um but yeah i've only used it like three or four times i think so definitely going to give you an update on this the next thing that i got this is my first time getting it which is very sad don't judge me but it is the ordinaries peeling um solution that blood red serum i've never gotten it mostly because i've always just been a sucker for um dr dennis gross's peel pads but now i just want to try this out so i did not restock on my peel pads i think i have like five or six left so i'm going to use this instead and see i've been hearing such good reviews and i and i said you know what this you guys already know how this looks i used it twice the first time it didn't sting the second time it hurt it physically hurt i'm not even playing with you i had to find my face <laughs> for like the first two minutes but then it like cooled off um but just yesterday just yesterday or the day before i saw on tiktok someone recommending this as their holy grail product for smooth clear skin so i'm super glad that i got this um if you've ever tried this let me know in the comments if it worked for you what you think about it let me know about all of all of the products actually what you think i got a lot of products for hyperpigmentation as you can tell and i just want to say i just want to insert this here you can't use all of these at the same time like i am completely aware of that a lot of them have ahas um bhas and some of them are saying you know you can't use them with ahas and bhas so you just have to be careful um i 
wanted all of these in my arsenal because I do like to switch it up sometimes and I want to see which one out of them would be like my favorites that I like for everyday use and then I wanted to see which ones I would pull out whenever like I'm in a bind with my skin so little disclaimer I don't plan to use all of these every day and I, I hope you don't as well if you're gonna burn your face off <laughs> okay so the next product that I got is this faded um, serum I've been using it I've, I've really been using it so this is what's tricky about the reviews that there were some really bad reviews that were all kind of focused on the smell of this but the ones that weren't focused on the smell were so good i was sh i was shook i was like i've never heard of this why are all of these reviews so great um but i'm not even gonna lie to you there were some people that gave it like really bad reviews because of this smell this smells like relaxer it smells like burnt rubber it has that small that strong smell just a heads up i didn't let this i didn't think it would bother me I mean it does it does smell i'm not gonna lie to you it does but um that doesn't bother me if it gets the the job done you know this is not something that you are supposed to use every day so i'm not even really concerned about the smell because like i said if it gets the job done yeah it's by the brand topicals it's a brightening and clearing serum um for an even skin tone so yeah you're supposed to use it like once a week to start and then work your way up to whatever you know you want to and it clearly says on the tube do not use faded which is this product with AHAs, BHAs or retinoid that's the product the consistency isn't really that bad it's just the smell the smell is not good at all but you know um the good thing is you know there like there's no fragrance there's no unwanted fragrances in there that could be harmful to your skin or just cause you to break out um, if you're that type of person who has sensitive skin. So, um, you know, find the positive in things in life. Mastering Life 101. I did get a mini set. Like I said, I am traveling and I got this um, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. It also came with this Rare Earth deep pore cleansing mask so i'm just going to show this to you guys so you can see how it looks um the kiehl's moisturizer is my favorite there's squalene squalene in there and my skin reacts very well with squalene i really do enjoy this moisturizer it's one of the best that i've personally ever used um so the deep pore cleansing mask it's this like light gray color i used it like twice i'm not really a big pore mask gal but i wanted to try to see if this would like get me to really change my life no dice so the last skincare product that i got is the super goop spf bestseller starter kit really excited to try this one to be honest with you okay this came off hashtag dark skin girls problem um so you know you know the vibes you want to wear sunscreen you do but it gives you like a gray cast if you're not wearing any makeup which is gross um so when my friend of me my friend of me influences me on a lot of things in my life which i don't like I need more friends but such is life but anyway when my friend of me told me about super Goop's unseen sunscreen however much years ago um i was like there's no way that this sunscreen doesn't show up on your skin but it's like it's magic it really is magic so from then that was the only one that i used i never really cared to try any of their other products because i'm like you know it works it's not broken it's not broken so i'm not gonna fix it it works right it works i was watching the queen baddie herself miss octavia b and she 
always talks about the super goop i think it's the place on the screen and how, sh how much she loves it obviously she's lighter than me like a good few shades lighter than me but i decided you know what i'm gonna buy the three and see if i like all three of them so we have a mini unseen sunscreen look how cute this is look how cute this is like i cannot i am obsessed with this <laughs> it's so cute cute we have a mini is it minier oh no it's the same size it's the same size we have a mini glow is it glow screen sunscreen and then this one is a little bigger it is the super goop play but it says everyday lotion i'm not sure if this is the if this is for your face this says that this is a body lotion so we'll see how that works i wonder if i can put this on my face yeah so really excited to be trying the three of those out and i really hope that none of them um the glow and the play leave a white cast on my skin because i would be truly devastated because i want to like all of their products i really do really do so that's it for the skincare now we're gonna get into the makeup products that i got i told you guys i got a lot of stuff the first makeup um thing that i want to show you is the anastasia beverly hills granite brow powder duo so it comes in this cute little case with that signature logo on it that a and i've been using this religiously have it on even now i use both sides i'm sorry the the black part the darker part got over here but um i heavily enjoy this um also got the brush with the spoolie and then this side i don't know what it's called this side i feel like this isn't something that i necessarily needed i just wanted it because it's abh baby and it goes with my powder do i need another reason like honestly the next thing that i got it was um the dior iconic over curl mascara i've always wanted to try this always wanted to try this and um they have like a set that's the same price as just getting a regular dior curl so you can get the primer and the um mascara for i think 30 dollars and then the mascara by itself is 30 dollars. so i said you know what let me just try the primer why not um i'm not obsessed with the primer i'm not i don't really use mascara primer often but when i do i use the milk primer and i love that thing it's it's so good like i don't know if it's that there's barely any product in here it barely has product throughout the spoolie i don't like that i don't know if they're like stiffing me or if it's just like i don't know but i have to dip it in like several times to fully coat my lashes in this so um it's okay i i wouldn't buy the full size version I, I really do prefer the milk. I feel like I'm getting more for my book. Next thing that I'm gonna show you, I decided to get a NARS concealer. I've never had a NARS concealer, which is crazy. I'm having the same issue with NARS, with the product not being distributed, in my opinion. I, I feel like I'm expecting to see a lot of product and it's just a little goop, a little, it's just a little bloop to the top. Like I have to dip this three times to cover like my face and I don't even use a lot of concealer. To me that's crazy. But um, I do love the color. I feel like this, I have no complaints other than that. I, I, I just, I hope that it's just um, how the, I don't know, how the applicator is set up. I'm not sure, but we'll see. You guys will definitely get an update on this because i'm scared i'm i'm a bit frightened okay so the next product that i i got and before i show you this i just want to make a disclaimer i fully intended to purchase the dior um oh what's that dior foundation i don't remember what it's called but i put a picture up um i fully intended to buy that foundation but the reviews the reviews had me skeptical and decided to try out the fenty beauty 
foundation instead. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. Um, they were having a sale on it. I don't know if they still are. So I think I got this for like, it was definitely less than 20 bucks which is good because I don't think it's a lot of product in here. I do really like it though. I love the color. The smell is amazing. This thing smells, is it vanilla? I don't know what the smell is, but it smells so good. So we're getting there people. We're almost done. We're almost done. You're probably like, there's more. There's more? Yeah, there's more. I got this Urban Decay brush. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, it's the Optical Blurring Brush um f105 i'm currently in the process of like downsizing all of my makeup products all of my um makeup brushes i want to get down to two makeup brushes i don't know if that's possible but two makeup brushes this is um as i said a blurring brush i got it because i'm like okay blurring brushes would be great for foundation it would be great for concealer i shouldn't have a problem with either with this when it comes to that i use it for everything sometimes just to see how it works like today i use it for my whole face i the reviews on this were insanely good and i really really like this brush it was a bit pricey um and everything will be linked down below so you can check it out for yourself but um yeah i really have no complaints about this brush so the last makeup product that i got is the makeup by mario lip pencil i decided to get this because i'm honestly not a fan and don't don't come for me but i'm not a fan of max chestnut lip liner i feel like it's too light for me and it's a little too red for me i needed something a little darker um on the sephora website this presented as darker i was scared i'm not gonna lie to you because i was scared because um it was a little red it was a little red i was scared i really was i was i was scared for my life i was clutching my pearls but i love it i love the color i really liked that there was that there's a brush so that you can blend it out i really really like that and i wanted to try it out haven't used this side yet so i do have three three other items that i would classify as other they're not makeup and they're not really skincare so i'm just going to show them to you really quickly first aid beauty ingrown hair pads that's how it looks i wanted to try this because you know i feel like it's self-explanatory ingrown hairs i don't really get them often but when i do i just don't like i just don't like the painful part it's really really uncomfortable so it's literally just it's literally just pads they're they're moist pads are moist the smell is it it kind of smells like witch hazel to be honest it has 28 pads um i'm not gonna be using this daily i'm probably gonna use it like once or twice after i shave and pray to god that it works but yeah just wanted to share this with you the next thing that i got is the touchland hand sanitizer the touchland hand sanitizer in the scent rainwater i hope that it smells good so i got it to put in my um toiletry bag my everyday toiletry bag toiletries bag that i walk with so this is definitely going in here i, I just like how pretty it, it looks that's it i could buy regular hand sanitizer for like 19.99 cents but no last thing that i got last thing that i got super excited to finally have this i am not a perfume person um i have allergies thanks mom and like really strong perfumes just gets my nose my nose up they don't like strong scents at all really finding some scents that i love there's hope for me yet one of them is the tom ford tobacco vanille i got it in the travel size and it comes um with this cute little case i love this smell so much 
I really like this case and it says Tom Ford. It says Tom Ford to the front. Yes, Tom. Yes, Thomas. You guys can't see the logo, but the logo is on top. I really, really love this scent. And um, I like that all of um, Tom Ford's scents are unisex. So I will definitely be spraying this on a mean because it smells really, really good. I sprayed it on my brother the other day. I will say this. Um, it smells much better on you than like if you spray it on a, those little scent cards. It, it smells really nice. I feel like it mixes so well with your, your body chemistry. It, it's just... Uh, it's sweet yet musky. Beautiful scent. I am obsessed with this. Obsessed. Upset. That concludes my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to incorporate these products into my daily routine. As I said before, you guys will be receiving an update on um, which of these products I really, really love and think that you should get, like for sure. Right now, I would definitely say the faded cream. I think that this has been working some magic, not even lying to you, because my dark spots have been fading and I, I love it I love it um tip only put it like in the sections with your dark spots don't put it on your whole face because you'll be lightening everything and not just the spots once you can get over the smell I think that this I think that this has the potential to be to be a real baddie not even lying to you I don't know why I didn't get this but I'm really excited because like I, like I say everyone says that this is so good so I do expect I'm expecting great things from you, you hear me? You better be worth the eight levels or the nine levels or whatever. I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all your support. Again, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, that like button. Leave me a comment. I'd love to talk to you guys in the comment section to get to know you a little bit more. I do have some travel content coming soon. I will be flying to Arizona and I'm going back home to the US Virgin Islands for the first time in about two years. So I'm really excited for that. You don't want to miss all of the amazing food I'm going to be showing you guys. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it, girl. What are you really waiting for? Press the button, girl. <laughs> okay let me stop playing but thank you again for watching the video i hope you enjoy i will see you guys soon besos